Assalamu alaikum, peace be with you. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What did you just say? You said something in Arabic. What's that all about? That's uh, peace be upon to you also. Yeah, that's that's with the greeting of all the and prophets. The mercy of Allah. And the mercy of God, the mercy huh? Mercy of God. Now we're at a place where they're talking about the most misunderstood way of life in the world, Islam. You're at this journey of faith. Tell us a little bit about it. This is the third uh, conference, uh, the third year that they're having this conference, Journey of Faith. And the idea is to get the knowledge out there to the Muslims and even non-Muslims. Get the knowledge and get an understanding of Islam and benefit. Now, I heard that the non-Muslims, the not yet Muslims, they get in free, they get free food, they get hospitality. Is this true? They get the best hospitality. Even uh, the speakers, like, it's even too much. Like, you get kind of embarrassed, you know what I mean? Catering to you, you need anything, you know, the best hospitality. For the, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about more so for the not yet Muslims, for them. Muslims, yeah. Invited in to come and eat with the speakers if they have any questions, you know, any con concerns or any anything. Feeding them, you know, giving them snacks and uh, refreshments, everything. Now give us, be real with us, tell us, did you hear any hate speech going on around here? No, no hate speeches, no. Just uh, presenting Islam in the clear, clear cut way, the way the Islam is uh, supposed to be presented. And inshallah. Now tell us. Yahya, can that be translated as Jacob in English? No, John. John, John, John or Yahya. Now, that was one of the prophets of God, wasn't it? One of the prophets of God, the son of Zechariah or Zacharias, and uh, the cousin of Jesus, John the Baptist. That was one of the prophets of God. Now, tell us, you weren't always a Muslim. A Muslim like Jesus, Moses, Abraham is one who consciously submits not to a man, to a monkey, but to the creator of the heavens and earth. You weren't always a Muslim, you were a Christian. Raised Roman Catholic and uh, brought up uh, as Roman Catholic. I started to even go to uh, different churches and investigating and uh, tried many of the churches and just couldn't find anything that I was looking for. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Trinity, salvation in the death of Jesus, God coming down, committing suicide. Does this something that you believed before? This is not what I believed before and that's one of the reasons why I actually was attracted to Islam and even when I was, I found the Quran in English translation, I found Islam, I said this is what I actually am about, like this is what I believe already. So you didn't believe in God being a man, now we love our brothers in humanity and sharing is caring so we just want to clear up the confusion because many people are confused about this triune thing and I've talked to many of the DDs, people who have gotten master's degrees in divinity and they couldn't figure it out. Can you figure it out? There's something that you know you were able to put together with this whole Trinity thing? I couldn't figure it out and like I said I even used to read the Bible like you know uh, extremely concentrated on Jesus' words. I wasn't getting that Jesus was God. Jesus had, uh, was part of the Godhead even stuff like that. Jesus was a prophet. Jesus was a messenger of God. You know saying that I and the Father or the Father is greater than I. Things like that like you know this is what I was reading, this is what I was getting, and when I found Islam, this is what I was all about already. Now, how did you stumble across Islam with all the other religions? Why didn't you become a Buddhist, a Sikh, a Hindu, a fire worshipper, idol worshipper? How did you come or did you try these out? And what happened and what led you to accept that there's only one God, there's no God but God, and Muhammad is the messenger? Um, actually, it was, uh, some people would say, probably kind of strange. Like, I didn't know any Arabs, I didn't know any Muslims, I didn't know anybody who was on this religion. I didn't even know there was an Islamic center in my city. I started reading the Quran one day. I found it in the library, the public library. Started reading it, and I actually like said started calling myself Muslim for about a year before I knew anybody, before I met anybody. And I said, "This is what I already believed like before about Jesus, about uh, about life, like about how God is, who God is." Um, now, is is your life easier now since you accepted Islam? Is it harder? Were there challenges? Life is, uh, I think, life is in general, like, uh, life is a test. We know, we know from the Quran and we know from the, the religion that life is a test. This dunya is a test, this life. And, but you find something now, I, for me personally, it was, I found something now. I found a meaning of life. I found a purpose in life. Why, why am I here? And I found an end, like a, a, an end to the journey. That after we leave this life, it's not just all about, like, you know, going to the dust as some people might say or even reincarnation and all no there is a there is a, a final abode or a final journey that you're that you're coming to everything the, this cup is in sincere submission to the one who created it because it's following the rules of gravity by definition this is how we can say that islam has been here since the very beginning of time
Anywhere the Muslims went to, people embraced Islam in masses, countries, nations. And this is something that is amazing, never happened on the face of earth. When people saw a practical way of life, of being truthful, being honest, making sense of everything that they do. They worship and they buy and sell. Now, some people don't know about the wonderful reverence that we have towards Jesus, peace be upon him. What do you believe about Jesus now as opposed to then? Mostly, uh, it's, it's, I still believe the same thing that I believed about Jesus even when I was a non-Muslim. But uh, now we have more respect, more reverence for Jesus as being the Messiah. Not the Son of God and you know that God had a child, God had a son. But being the Messiah, being born of the Virgin Mary, right? knowing that he's going to come back before the day of judgment on the last day to this earth he's going to come back again things like that now tell us a few more questions tell us tell us is very important some people think you know what islam it's an arabic word islam is for the arab allah is some moon god what do you guys say about this islam means submission to god compliance obedience to god only and, and only to god you know, not to a man, not to a teacher, not to uh, your forefathers, not to some culture, not to some group, and so on. But your, your, your obedience, your compliance, your submission is only to God, the one who created you. Um, that's what Islam is all about. And Allah is uh, your creator, your Lord, the one who provides for you, the, the sustainer of the universe, the sustainer of all of us. This is the one that deserves to be worshipped. He is the only one that deserves to be worshipped, revered. With that, with that ultimate reverence and uh, uh, submission to. Does the religion, the way of life, the complete compliance with the laws of the creator of the heavens and earth, Islam, to acquire that peace that everyone's yearning for by submitting to the owner of peace, the one God, now that you've implemented Islam, has it improved your behavior, your character? Are you kinder to your parents, kinder to your neighbors? What's been the outcome of it? There has been a change in, in uh, like, I wasn't, drastically like some way before you know like a, a criminal and so on alhamdulillah uh, all praise to allah but there is a change whenever somebody accepts islam sincerely for the sake of god for the sake of allah there is a change in their life they become more respectful of people respectful of the creation of human beings of, of animals of everything more respectful and there is that change and anybody who accepts islam and this is my advice to everyone that when they do accept islam they will see a change you know it may, it may not happen overnight, it may not happen even within days or weeks, but gradually there will be a change in the person's life. For people that feel that Islam is synonymous with terrorism, what do you got to say? Islam cannot be synonymous with terrorism. You have to go back to the religion, the Qur'an, the book that was revealed by God to the Prophet Muhammad, and you have to go back to the Sunnah and the, the, the way of the Prophet Muhammad and see how he behaved with non-Muslims. See how he behaved with, with the people in general, with everybody. And see it then after these actions of certain people, even if they have the name Muslim, you know, does this coincide with what's in the Quran? Does this coincide with what the Prophet Muhammad, how he used to deal with the people? Um. So is it safe to say that Islam condemns killing innocent people? women, children, has nothing to do with events such as 9-11, 7-7, and all these other things that the people, they see it on the media and they start to link it back to Islam. Uh, it's clear in the Qur'an, it's clear in the way of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. like I said, how he dealt with the people, and it's clear in the, in the Qur'an of what you're, you're allowed to do, what you're allowed not, not allowed to do, like, you know, innocent people are not to be killed, and it's specifically the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam gave instructions and warned against that. Now tell us, for the not yet Muslims, those who like what you have to say, they're also confused about the Trinity, about God becoming a man, and in no way are we trying to offend, hurt, or offend anybody, but we want to clear up the confusion so they like what you have to say. Worship one God, do the good that he's told you to do, and you know what? But they're a little hesitant. You know what? You're American, you're Christian, and they can relate to you. 
what would you have to tell them, a good piece of advice? Uh, I would say look for the truth and be sincere with it first, open-minded. And, and don't pay attention to the media, don't pay attention to everything that's going on or everything that's being said. You know, look for yourself, go and search, search for yourself the truth. Go to the Quran, start reading, go to like uh, some websites that, you know, uh, go to the local Islamic center and ask. It's your right to ask, you know, like, what is this about? What does this mean? Is this in, in, in your book or where does this come from? And seek the truth and open-mindedly and, uh, and sincerely. Thank you very much. We started with peace. We end with peace. Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Barakallahu feek. It means in the blessing of Allah be upon you. And you too, brother. Thank Take you. Care. Brother John, brother Yahya. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And you got to hear it here on the Dean Show. If you want peace, go to the owner of peace. And that's the creator of the heavens and the earth. The one God, submit to him, not his creation. Do all the good that he's told you to do. Don't worship a man or a man or money or women or power don't succumb to that don't succumb to your lusts and desires submit yourself wholly to the one who created you and live a righteous life we'll be back with more on the Dean Show there will always be someone that will be there to say something negative but at the same time there will be someone there to say something positive also so just hold on to the rope of Allah everything in this universe rely and need Allah the Quran says don't kill women don't kill children don't kill the old people don't attack the civilians this is what the Prophet Muhammad told us Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah said that the Prophet never ever start a war against anybody